it's possible to sell your soul to Satan. Uh, the best proof of that is you can read in the New Testament when Satan tempted Jesus Christ. Uh, we can read in Luke 4, 5 to 8. Then the devil, taking him, Jesus Christ, up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give you and their glory, for this has been delivered to me, and I give it to whoever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship me before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Many famous people, many uh, powerful people in this world have read the Bible. And uh, they... they uh, understood that maybe I can give my soul to Satan and many have succeeded to do that. I don't think Satan is interested to to make a deal with everyone uh, but who try to seek him up. Uh, he will not answer the call, if I call it that way, to everyone but those he, he do, uh, you know, make a deal with uh, they will go to hell when they die. So it's a, a bad deal, you know. Uh, Satan can give you money, women, uh, you know, powerful jobs. Uh, he can give you uh, confidence, but that's a, a false confidence. You will, be, you will be filled with demons and stuff, you know. So it's nothing if you compare to a, a Christian filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, not at all, but he can still give you, you know, confidence and uh, he can make you fearless. And uh, he, he can uh, make you, he, he can give you talents, you know, so you, you get great in in doing movies for example making music and stuff like that uh, just uh, we can start to listen on Denzel Washington when he speaks about what he do when he do a, a when he perform an act in a movie let's hear what he has to say it's very interesting Basically what I did was got on my knees and sort of communicated with the spirits. And when I came out, I was in charge. Powerful scene. Powerful scene. It, it was, I couldn't have acted that. I couldn't have written that down and made a decision to play that. What, are you going to smoke that? Nope. You are. <laughs> Hell if I am. Yeah. You're Jesus freak. So he admits that when he per perform, he is filled with evil spirits and they help him to do the job. And uh, before I continue and uh, take up uh, uh, some famous people that admits they have sold their souls to Satan, I will just tell you that the you know, the Bible says that the world hates Jesus Christ because he is the light and the world is filled with, with darkness. Not the exactly quote, but people hate you if you follow Jesus Christ for real. And uh, just take up uh, one example. Uh, it's about Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. Uh, the Columbine massacre uh, guys, you know, killed innocent people. Uh, they listen on, uh, you know, evil music, satanic music, 
and uh, they hated everyone. Uh, but of course they also hated Jesus Christ. And I will read you what they said in a transcript. Uh, let's hear what they said. I will read this because it's an evidence that people, mo most people, they hate Jesus Christ. Why do they, they, they don't hate, you know, other re religions than Christianity? Uh, many, many, many do not do that, but, but they hate Christianity. They hate Jesus Christ. You know why? Because that's the truth. And they, they said, Eric Harris said, shut the curse word up. Nick, you laugh too much. And those two girls sitting next to you, they probably want you to shut the curse word up too. Jesus, Rachel and Jen and whatever. I want to... Uh, for the record say that Rachel uh, her name full name was Ra Ra Rachel Scott and she was a Christian and uh, before she died she, before she was murdered uh, she said that uh, when Eric or Dylan asked her about about her faith do you believe in God she said yes if that's true uh, of course, um, it's many speculations, it's true and it's not true, but anyway, it's that Rachel they talk about. And Dylan uh, said, I don't like you, Rachel and Jen, you're stuck up little curse word, you're curse word, little Christian, godly, little curse word. Eric answered, yeah, I love Jesus, I love Jesus, shut the curse word up Dylan said what would Jesus do what what the curse word would I do he acts like he's shooting the camera with his hand with sound to accompany it Eric said I would shoot you in the curse word head go Romans thank God they crucified that curse word so uh, they have not an easy time now I can tell you that after they took their own lives, after they killed so many innocent people, they uh, yeah, they will not have a good time. They don't have a good time now in hell. Uh, that's for sure. But now let's go on and uh, uh, read some quotes from famous people who admit they sold their souls to the devil. Justin Timberlake said, all you people out there, Satan is my master. He has always been. This is from a song Metallica perform. Uh, it's from Diamond Head or whatever the name is. They made the song in, in the beginning. So they just cover it, but they still sing it. So they show where, where they stand. You don't sing anything you don't agree with. They, they sing. They will take my soul with diamonds you repay. I don't care for heaven, so don't you look for me to cry. And I will burn in hell from the day I die. John Lennon said, I sold my soul to the devil. Rihanna said, it feels like I'm going insane. Yeah, it's there in the night to come and grab you, it can creep up inside you and consume you. A disease of the mind, it can control you. It's Satan she speaks about. Nikki Minai said that uh, uh, she talks about her alter ego, you know, another, it's a demon uh, who lives inside her called Roman. She said, Roman is a crazy boy who lives in me and he says the things I don't want to say. I asked him to leave, but he can't. He, he's here for a reason. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. With Jesus Christ, he can leave her. I hope she will find that out. Pray for her and everyone else here uh, in this video.
who are alive, of course. Ye Morisa from uh, the doors said, I met the spirit of mu- music, an appearance of the devil on a Venic canal running. I saw Satan moving beside me, a fleshly shadow of my secret mind. Kane West said, I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. At least it came with a few toys like a happy meal. Tom Megan or whatever how to pronounce his name said, My soul you can have it. I'd sell it to the devil for another hit. I hear voices. Drake said, If you sell your soul to the devil, you get more grain. Brad Pitt said, I could re- rely really try on something different for myself that was satanism it's working out really well i made a pact that's why this guy said i sold my soul soul to the devil lucifer will have my soul jean simon said i have sold my soul to the devil Moby said for his sake i'm sorry that robert johnson sold his soul to the devil, but for our sake and the sake of music, I'm glad he did. Eminem said, I sold my soul to the devil, I'll never get it back. It was in a song, but it's still, uh, he is truly a satanist. Here Eminem said, I sold my soul to the devil, I'm going to hell. I'm headed to hell. I want the money, the woman, the fortune and the fame. That means I end up burning in hell, sourcing in flames. Satan, uh, be in to see me later to see if I'm interested in being partners. Devil worshipping Satan music. 50 Cent said, I sit and look at life from a different ang- uh, angle. Don't know if I'm God's child or I'm Satan's angel. He is not... Uh, a child of God that's that's for sure Britney Spears said I sold my soul to the industry and all I got was this lousy custody agreement so some people don't worship Satan directly they they just do what the industry tells them to do and they worship Satan but most of the famous people uh, they worship Satan directly, but some of them just do what the industry tells them to do. Uh, it's a few people who don't worship Satan or the industry, but they are very, very few. And they can, can't hardly ma- ma- make it, you know. Because Hollywood and the industry, you know, they are uh, belonging to Satan. That's how it is. So it's possible to sell your soul to Satan if he is interested to make a deal with you. But of course, don't do it. I will read some verses from the Bible. Uh, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. 1 John 2, 15-17 So, and 1 John 5, 21 says, Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. So don't have any idols, and, uh, you know, 1 Timothy 6 9 says, People who want to get rich fall into temptation and and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires and plunge men into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is is a root of, of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. So, and 1 Corinthians 10:21 says you cannot drink the Lord's cup and the cup of demons 
you cannot participate at the table of the Lord and at the table of demons. And one of the most important verses is Matthew 16:26. It says, For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So it's not worth to sell the soul to Satan because you will go to hell. When Satan c- comes to you, if he does, he will come to you. But if he will reveal himself to you, he will come as an angel of light, like the Bible says. But in reality, he looks like something like this. This is how he looked like, something like this, like I said. He is the most evil in, in the whole existence. It doesn't exist any person or demon or anything that's so evil like he is. And uh, in uh, uh, Second Corinthians 4, 4, it says Satan, who is the god of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. Jesus is God. So give your life to Jesus Christ. Believe in him and obey him. Don't give your life to Satan. Don't go your own way, just follow Jesus Christ and you will go to heaven when you die. God bless you all.